Hi, this is Tom Brown from the Information Lab. This is the third video we've produced to demonstrate how to use the index function in Tableau. In the first video we looked at the most basic use of index to create a simple ranking function. And then in the second we extended this to make the rank dependent on an additional category. This time we're going to extend this further to include, include filtering of the top n or top x values within each category. So let's start by taking a look at what we're trying to achieve. Here's the finished solution inside Tableau. Here we have a horizontal rank bar showing the sales amount by state. We've broken the state up into regions as in the previous example and we've added some color so it's clear what's going on. The addition from our previous video is that we're now allowing the user to choose the number of entries to show in each category by using a slider. So here I can move this from 5 to 6 and we can see the number of states is increasing. So let's go ahead and build this view. The first thing we do as in our previous example is bring out region and state, sales, rank the view or sort the view rather and we'll have region onto color to highlight what's going on. Now we need to create a calculated field. If you've seen the previous videos, you've seen this done before. There's nothing new here. I'm going to call this field rank 3 because I've used previous instances of this rank. And now I'm going to take field rank and put it onto the view. I'm going to do it in a slightly different way this time. I'm just going to drop it on the level of detail shelf. Here I need to switch it to discrete before I bring it out into my view. Okay. Now as in the previous video we need to configure this table calculation correctly because we need the rank to reset as the region changes. So this Massachusetts should be 1 here. So we edit table calculation, move to advanced, we leave region in the partitioning fields here under available fields and move customer state into the addressing fields under compute using. I'm doing this fairly fast, there's more detail on this in the second video so if you want to go and watch that that would be a good idea. Press OK, OK and we can now see that the rank resets as we move into the new region. So now we have this calculation set up correctly and the rank is resetting, we can consider how to create the slider for the filter. We want the slider to be based on this rank field. And since we've had to configure the rank field, we don't actually want to go and get the rank field from the data window again. The right way to do it is to grab the rank field from rows and duplicate that onto the filter shelf using the control key. I'm just going to press OK at this point. It's asking me which ranks I'd like to choose. I'm just going to press OK. You can see here that the field on the filter shelf is blue. And I need this to be a continuous field, which would mean it will be displayed as green. So I'm going to change this to continuous. And again, I'm going to press OK. Now I have a green field here. I'm in good shape for being able to make a slider type filter. If I show quick filter on this field, I immediately get the right type of filter I'm after. and I can change my view to allow only the top four or top five states within each region. Let's just format this to get rid of these extra lines that have appeared. If we say format, borders, rows, and look at this row, dis row divider section and we just push the level back here by one, the lines will disappear. Okay, that's it for now. Hope that works for you. Watch out for more videos on this subject coming soon.